How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massa Beer Reviews, back with a little bit of mountain walking up in this piece in the form of their sweets. This is a strawberry shortcake sour ale with strawberry, vanilla, and lactose. 8% alcohol by volume. This was canned almost exactly two months ago. So I originally had my first mountain walking beer courtesy of my boy Mike from New Jersey. He sent me off a box from Tavor, uh, and they had some beers from Mountain Walking in there. I think there was a uh, sour, I think there was a sour like this, and maybe a Pilsner or something like that. Um, and then Tavor sent me a box, and that's where this one comes from. And between those two boxes, like they came a week apart, I started seeing these guys show up in shells around me, which is kind of funny. I'm like, I've never heard of this brewery before. And then I go out to a bottle shop, and I'm like, oh my God quite pricey where I live. So I'm kind of curious to see what this costs in Tavor because, you know, I've seen not this exact beer, uh, but something very, very similar to this kind of imperial kind of lactose smoothie beer. I think it was 18 to $20. Uh, so it's very, very pricey. Um, beer wise, you know what that looks like exactly? That looks exactly like freshly squeezed red grapefruit juice. Except with that little bit of like head on it you know that's the exact color you get that pulpy kind of reddish orange kind of look going on um label wise i do do their labels quite a bit a little abstract already but i can get down with it but yeah this looks like grapefruit juice red grapefruit juice it's gonna nose i don't know i don't know there's something weird about it strawberry me it's the strawberry it is it's the strawberry um it's just coming off I don't know, that tartness and the acidity from the sour portion of the beer. It just doesn't marry well with the strawberry because you don't think of acidic or tart. It's not, probably not all that acidic. It's more of a tartness. I understand unripened strawberry, sure, sure, sure. But when I think of strawberries, I think of them in a dessert -y sense. Rarely, you know, even if I were to eat a strawberry, I don't remember the last time I ate one. But if I ate one, it would probably have some kind of sweet component with it. Like whether it be whipped cream or it's a tart or even just strawberry dipped in sugar or something like that. Rarely do I eat them straight. Um, so you have that kind of sweetness to it, which is kind of makes sense here. Uh, but it's that tartness that borders on acidity from the beer itself that I normally don't have with a strawberry. Maybe that's what's kind of throwing me for a loop. Uh, vanilla comes through. The lactose is just behind it. It's interesting on the nose. I'm really curious to see how this comes off in the taste because I could love it or hate it. Cheers. I don't love it, and I don't hate it. It's floating somewhere in between. I thought I was going to be really polarizing. Like, I'm going to be like, ugh. Or, mm. But it is that big tart component that just doesn't sit well um, in my brain, not necessarily in my taste buds, but it just doesn't compute all that well in my head. It doesn't make me hate the beer, but it, it makes me slightly confused. Maybe that's a good thing. Um, you know, it, it, it gives you exactly what it's promising on the can. It's giving you a sour ale that has strawberries, that has lactose and vanilla going on. This all tastes like ingredients cobbled together um, and not working together, if that makes any sense. So it's not like a negative thing. I like the tartness, the aggressive tartness this beer has for a kettle sour. I like them a little bit more tart. This one has it. The way it expresses the strawberry in, in here, I think it's pretty powerful, pretty meaningful. You rarely get that with strawberry, and the way it comes off in here is quite nice. The vanilla and lactose is actually really well done. The vanilla comes in first with the lactose right behind it, but they're working together. Those are the two pieces that are working together in really good harmony. But that's it. The rest of the beer is kind of herky-jerky and not really all that connected. If you gave me this without the vanilla lactose, I don't know. I don't know. I might like it better. If you gave me this without... In, a, in an IPA, like a milkshake IPA, I think it'd work amazing. The flavor profile on this is screaming to be a milkshake IPA. It's that tartness of the Berliner in combination with the way that strawberry comes off, especially with the vanilla, and it comes off very much strawberry shortcake, and it just that tartness just doesn't make sense in my brain. It makes me not love this beer, but I can taste goodness in it. 
and there's a really cool like the level and dosage of the adjuncts in this beer are very fun the levels that they're at i just don't think they work together and that's just a personal preference honestly you know it, 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 when i talk about beers on my channel i don't grade them i just talk about whether i like them or not and just as a sounding board of people who may have similar tastes to me and while i could see people really digging on this beer it just mix, misses the mark for me at least so, is this one of the better uh, fruit smoothie-ish kind of beers that I've had? Lactose-laden fruit smoothie beers that I've had as late? No. It's that tart and strawberry. Really kind of misses the mark for me. It keeps me from really digging on it. Value and availability on this thing. Like I said, I don't know technically, but from what I've seen, their price point tends to be quite high. And leave you with, and you can get it off the shelf, like I said. I don't think I saw this one specifically, but I saw three different beers from these guys, at least in New Jersey, so they can be had. And leave you with, if you like what we like this. If you like tart strawberries, if you like tart strawberry shortcake, you will like this. So there you go. Review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff. Beer Massif if you want to check me out doing a whole podcasting thing. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a little bit of yeah mountain walking. Hopefully see you next time. Cheers.